If I could have your attention, please. At this time, we're going to begin the funeral services here for Mrs. Galena Mann. As we begin the funeral services, I would ask if any of you has a cell phone or any other noise-making device, please turn it off at this time. Officiating the service today is Hazan Hen Harry Shuleff from Congregation Benetic. Karim, dear friends, we are here together today to give kavod as we honor the memory of our beloved Galina, truly an eshet chayil, a woman of valor, filled with beauty inside and outside, an amazingly loving and caring soul whose main goal was to make the life of family and friends as good and memorable as it could ever be. On behalf of the family that makes Congregation B'nai Tikva, we express our deepest condolences to Galina's loving and caring parents, the late Simon and Bella Shenikson, Zichronim Libracha of blessed memory, to Galina's so beloved husband, Bob, to her adored children, Sasha and fiance Lizzie, Kenny and Jana, and Lauren and Brittany. To Kalina's beloved grandchildren, Noel and fiance Spencer, Michael and Sutton Sophia. To Kalina's so loving first cousin, Liana and husband, Gera to the rest of the family and the many, many special friends. At this time, I would like to ask, respectfully request, Bob, Sasha, Kenny, and Lauren to please rise so I can perform the ritual of Keria, the tearing which represents the fact that the blessing your beloved wife and mother, Galina, brought to your lives is no longer with you Yet the memories remain an everlasting blessing. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Dayan HaEmet. Praise are you, Adonai, our God, who rose the, the universe, who is the judge of truth. Please repeat after me. Adonai Natan, Vadonai Lakach, Yehi Shem Adonai Mevorach. Adonai has given, and Adonai has taken. Praised be the name of Adonai. Please have a seat. Chaverim, Yekarim, dear friends. The Jewish people respond to death with three words of blessing, as we just said. In English, the words mean, praise is the judge of truth. As we begin our service with the wisdom of our tradition, let us refer to the words of Ecclesiastes. A season is set for everything, a time for every experience under heaven, a time for dancing and a time for wailing a time for birthing and a time for dying, a time for speaking and a time for silence, a time for seeking and a time for losing, 
The time of mourning is a complicated time filled with many emotions and memories, both bitter and sweet. Let's begin our service with recitation of psalms and prayers, thus linking Kalina's memory and life with the 3,000-year-old tradition of the people of Israel and the eternity of God. Let us all join together from the pamphlet reciting the 23rd Psalm. Please join. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Mis mor le Adonai roi lo Bino deshe yar vitseni Almei menu jodien aleni Nafshi yeshover yan geni Ah uh-huh. 
Woman of Valor, what a precious find is Aneshet Chayil. Her worth is far beyond rubies. Her husband puts his confidence in her and lacks no good thing. She is good to him, never bad, all the days of her life. She opens her hand to the needy and extends her hand to the poor. She's clothed with strength and splendor. She looks to the future cheerfully. She opens her mouth with wisdom. Her tongue is guided by kindness. She's in charge of the activities of her household and never eats the bread of idleness. Her children come forward and bless her. Her husband praises her. Charm is deceitful and beauty vain. But a God-revering woman is much to be praised. Extol her for the fruit of her hand. Wherever people gather, her deeds speak her praise. <laughs> Batah balif bala Vishal alu yekhsar Gemalat uto velora Kul yemei khayeha Kapa parasalani Vyadeha shilakha laviyo Oz v'hadar lebusha Batizchak leyom acharor Pi hapokha v'chokhma V'torat chesed al-shona Tzofia halichot b'yita ולחם עצלות לא תוכל, קמו בניה וישרוה, בעלה ויעלה. רבות בנות עשו חייל, ועתלית על כולנה. שקר החבר והבל היופי שיירת אדוני תתהרר תנו לה מפרי ידיה והללוה Vashiarim Maseha As we remember and as we share I would like to invite Galina's children first Sasha and Lizzie to please share your words and memories with us. Hazan. 
Ethan will translate. I'll be interpreting today. My mother, her soul is in a completely different place. Actually in different places. I wanna share this poem that I came across. I want to share with you a poem entitled, Where is my grandma? It's written by an unknown author. So the young child asked, where's grandma? Where's grandma? And all of the adults gasped. Not knowing what exactly to say. They said, certainly not in the earth, buried, covered over with soil and small rocks. Certainly not in the heavens, distant, far off a fantasy of the imagination, much closer than earth, much closer than heaven. Grandma, dear child, is within us, within us all. In our memories of her kindness and goodness, memories that are not faint echoes, but resonate in us each day. Grandma, is in our tenderness with each other, in our loyalty to family, for friends, in our love of our people. Nothing uh, noble dies with death. Warm embraces, wise counsel, do not evaporate into thin air. Grandma is not where, but when. Wherever we gather together to celebrate festivals, whenever we, whenever we offer to help the poor, the homeless, the sick, whenever we defend the innocent, raise our voice against injustice. Grandma's influence is present. Grandma stood for ideas and ideals. Grandma stood for care and concern and comfort of the other. What she stood for, now we stand for. Even as we rise for the Kaddish and her memory in her honor for her immortality. My mom truly lived her life to its fullest. Her life was the most Im important responsibility maximized every minute from dawn to dusk. In instead of keeping the time for herself, she used it for other people whether it was a small favor or a big task. She would always help people whenever, whenever they needed any kind of help. She would jump at every opportunity to make an impact on someone's life. Should it be in a small or a big way? Doesn't matter the size. It didn't matter to her at all. What mattered to her is making another person feel better and to achieve their goals was her ultimate goal. She was one of those people who weren't selfish and who would be easily embarrassed if she thought for herself 
rather for others. She always performed endless deeds without complaining every day, just because she wanted to help, because it felt re rewarding for her. She embodied a saint with heaven in her, rather than a saint in heaven. She is not in a place so, of so-called heaven, but in places in you that she's touched. You will all be carrying her with you forever. Thank you very much for giving her that place to live within you all. So five years ago is when I first met Galena Mann for the first time. She uh, was delivering bags of food, flowers, and gifts, uh, filling up our tiny kitchen and living room in that orange house. I remember such a small person walking through there. She was small in form, but so much energy. It was love at first sight. Galena was the true master of destiny. She had this innate magic of forging dreams into reality. Fate was her friend. She'd give meaning, meaning to you know, different coincidences that happened and string toge would string together each minute into one extraordinary event. When she was first diagnosed with cancer, Galena told Sasha and me to pack our bags for a family trip to Russia and Latvia. She was so resolute about this plan that she successfully went into remission by June, 2019, and we were visiting Russia and Latvia. Her ultimate passion in life was to create. Galina laid out feasts. She baked endless supplies of pastries and cakes. She sketched hundreds of pages. She painted scores of landscapes, flowers, and people. She designed rooms to stimulate her mind and to move her spirit to create even more. A few months ago, Galina was studying colors. She had originally thought that blue was her favorite color. However, after reflecting on the colors she had often brought to her canvases and to the kitchen counter, Galena had realized that fav her favorite color was actually orange. She was born in the fall, the season of oranges. She kept a bowl of clementines. Her jewelry box contained amber gemstones. And today, when I think about Galena, I'm back to this orange house where she, she filled, filled our house with groceries and other such things where we first met. I take a stride through the amber room we'd walked through in St. Petersburg. And I search for the color orange on every canvas her brush touched. Galena collected every moment. She filled up her kitchen cabinets with countless teacups and teapots. She held on to every, every card or note or gift sent to her by friends and loved ones. She kept them and cherished them. Every nation that she visited, she kept parts of that treasured in, in her own world. Love was Galena. Galena loved her son, Sasha, so fiercely that she left her beloved Russia for the U.S. to give Sasha a better life. Galena doted on her husband of 38 years, Bob, forever keeping his stomach and heart filled with her special creations. Galena took pride in her two sons, Ken and Lauren, devoting her time and energy to bear witness to their dreams coming true. Galena took in every person 
as if they were her own blood and flesh. Besides her three boys and three grandchildren, Noel, Michael, and Sutton, she had many other children, especially Britt, Jana, and Spencer, that she regarded as members of her own family. It was a special honor for each of us to occupy a place within Galena's heart. Galena was love. Though I only knew her for a short five years, she'd become one of the most inspiring and important people in my life. She was one of the greatest teachers about life, love, and happiness. Galena's spirit has grown larger than life itself. She's now embarking on an adventure greater than life. For us who remain here still on earth, it's my hope that each of us can carry forward with the love and the joy Galena has given us. Thank you. I would like to invite and please Galena and Sasha came into our family almost 40 years ago, right around the time when Lauren and I were just starting our teenage years, and we could not have been more excited. When I think about Galena and the personal impact that she's had on my life, it's really difficult to narrow it down into such a short eulogy, but I'm going to give it my best shot. A few significant things come to mind when I think of Galena. Selflessness, welcoming to all, incredible work ethic. Galena was the epitome of selflessness and welcoming to all. It brought her joy to bring family and friends together in their house and feed them. And she made everyone feel right at home whether it was a long weekend up at the lake house in Minocqua, Wisconsin with our immediate family, or just a dinner gathering at their house in Northfield. You knew it was gonna be great company and great food. Galena never disappointed. It didn't matter whether it was a few of us or a large group. Galena loved to prepare meals for everyone and she would never let anyone raise a finger. She thoroughly enjoyed all of the planning, the preparation, and cleanup. She might have let our dad assist here and there, but not very often. She always said that it was cathartic for her to do all of the planning, the preparation, and cleanup by herself for any gathering. And for the rest of us, forget it. She always, she always wanted all of us to just enjoy each other's company and enjoy her food. She was the only person that I've ever known to actually get mad at me for trying to clean up after myself. As a teenager, I particu particularly loved going on summer family camping trips with Galena, my dad, Lauren, and Sasha. But not necessarily for the same reasons as the rest of the group. Sure, we all enjoyed being together. But for selfish reasons, the best part of traveling with Galena was that I knew I was going to get her awesome home cooking. We could be shivering on a picnic bench in a campground near Niagara Falls on a cold, misty day. But when Galena pulled out plastic container after plastic container of her famous chicken cutlets, Russian beet salads, and ratatouille, 
It gave me that comforting feeling that we were back home in the family kitchen. 20 minutes later, here came a cup of hot tea and a slice of her famous Napoleon cake. I'm just sorry that I had to share it with Lauren and Sasha. As an adult, Jana and I particularly enjoyed our family trips up at the lake house in Manaqua. And again, for similar selfish reasons. Yes, we thoroughly enjoyed being together and spending quality time with Golly, Dad, Sasha, Noel, Michael, Lauren, and Brittany. But deep down, we knew that the trunk of my dad's and Golly's car was packed with awesomeness from Golly's famous Chicago suburban kitchen. And we knew that every meal that week was going to be something special. I especially love watching Golly's reaction to all of us sitting down together at the dinner table at the lake house. We knew that it made her so happy to see all of her children and grandchildren laughing, eating, and playing together. It meant the world to her. When I think of Galena, I also think of how incredible a work ethic she had. Wherever she worked in the food industry, it was so important for her to not only get the job done, but to get it, job, get it done right, regardless of how long it took. And she always wanted to create a world-class quality assurance, food safety department, wherever she led that particular function. She sacrificed many nights of sleep and many weekends throughout her career in order to get her work done and take care of her employees. She treated her employees like family at every company she worked at. And I was always amazed to see how well respected she was by her employees and by her company's leadership. She also treated each company that she worked at like it was her own. And she would do everything and anything to help it be successful. To really put it in perspective, she's the only person I've ever known to retire twice. Galena's incredible work ethic and her attention to detail clearly extended to her art. When she picked up painting a few years ago, she proved to me that you're never too old to pick up a new hobby. She always said it helped, that it helped her relax and she loved to learn new techniques. Jana and I have significantly benefited from it based on the number of art pieces of hers that are hanging on the walls in our home. And we love to see the surprise reactions of friends and family when they see the paintings on our walls for the first time and find out that Galena created them. As much as we already miss Galena, it is very reassuring to know that every time we walk into one of our rooms at home, she will always be there with us. Galena, we love you. sum up 40 years of Lena being like a second mom being a second mom so I had a, obviously a lot of time to think about this Sorry. Yeah. Uh, and they're snapshots and they'll never do Lena justice but they, they're what I think of when I think of Lena um, when we first met in Rogers Park going up to her flat with my dad on the way to Best Kosher one of the few times I actually visited that's kosher. Galena had tea and strawberries, and I thought it was the most amazing thing. And that's 40, almost 40 years ago for tea and strawberries. I think of her in Glenview saying, okay, Lauren, you're gonna have fish soup, and you're gonna have sour cream on it. And I got so mad because I did not want sour cream. I think, I think I even ran back to Morton Grove to my other house. And you know I love sour cream and fish soup now. It is why I have that random memory. 
I remember it plain as day how mad I was and Helena looking at me like, Lauren, you're crazy. It's delicious. I remember taking a trip to Colorado, a beautiful trip with all of us. And we're driving along the side of a road uh, in the middle of the mountains. And Galena says, Robert, stop, stop here. And we're looking around. Why are we stopping in the middle of a mountain? And Galena says, there's some beautiful mushrooms we have to pick. And she goes out and gets these mushrooms that look like they were out of a, a fairy tale. And, and the first thought I had was, oh my gosh, this woman is going to poison us. But at least we're all going to eat. <laughs> and we're all going to suffer whatever the consequences. And I adored going to then, like I adore her now. And I took a leap. And it was one of the most beautiful mushroom dishes I've ever had. I would not pick those mushrooms myself. <laughs> But, but we trusted going up. And, and I don't know where it all blended and came together, but when my beautiful wife, uh, Brittany, came into my life and Galena met her, and they were, uh, I, the best way to describe it was Britt and Galena were one of the same and, and very complimentary and very different with art and passion and love. And I remember living my experiences of Galena through Brit and how they worked together and talked together and thought about life. And I remember one of the few times before I even was getting gonna marry Brit and was thinking about it and Galena said, you know, she's, she's the one for you. Uh, and then Sutton coming into her life and Galena opening her heart even more for her beautiful daughter Sutton the same way and understand, wanted, wanted to know what what she's doing, what she's up to. In fact, even last year coming out to our house so we can take a trip to Harry Potter land, right, honey? A, amazing trip last year that we got to see going in and dad and everybody um, before all this crazy time. And and it doesn't, it doesn't do going to justice or the fam, beautiful family she has here and friends, but it, it's gonna it's been with me my whole life will be with me to the end of my life and I just miss her thank you so much for sharing those beautiful words I will now share more of a historical biography as you all shared, as we all shared together. Galina Mann was born in Riga, Latvia on September 14, 1945. Galina was the daughter of Simon Shenikson and Bella Pariskaya. She was their only child. Simon owned a plastic factory, which was a manufacturing company for the Soviet government, and Bella was a top medical doctor whose specialty was communicable diseases. Simon, in addition, was almost a rabbi, but at that time in the Soviet Union, People of Jewish descent were mistreated. In fact, anyone who had a religious affiliation was seen as a socially lower being. The only holiday observed was New Year's. People had a New Year tree, and all religious celebrations were banned. In 1945, Soviets were still killing Jews. That is why Galina did not know she was Jewish until age 16, when a neighbor said to her, I know you are Jewish. And when Galina asked her parents, they told her she indeed was a Jew. Galina's early years were filled with blessing and well-being in every way. She had many dear friends, like Ella, and enjoyed an excellent education. Simon and Bella did very well. Every year, they rented a summer cottage on the Baltic Sea. They rented the same apartment on the beach for many years on Jermala's four-mile-long beach. 
Dalina developed numerous passions. She played the piano. Her family was very musical and Galina had relatives who played in the orchestra. Galina loved art and was always drawn to painting. She loved ice skating, skiing and biking. Galina then attended the Riga Technical Institute and completed a degree in organic chemistry. As we see, Galina had an amazing mind. Not only did she have artistic skills, she was a scientist. Galina later received a master's in food technology and in food science from the Technical Institute of Leningrad. Galina was married in 1966 and on September 25, 1967, her adored son, Sasha, was born. As an infant, Sasha was administered a flu vaccine, the same vaccine responsible for two million Soviet children when death as a result of the vaccine. In the Soviet Union, people who were deaf were treated like ter terrible handicap. And Galina wanted for Sasha to be able to have a normal life. Galina and Sasha moved to Leningrad in 1973, where they could find a special school to help Sasha learn all the skills needed to live a normal life. Galina became a professor of organic chemistry at the University of Leningrad, also known as the University of St. Petersburg, and was able to arrange for Sasha's special education at the university, where he also learned to communicate in English. Galina found out about the wheat trade project coordinated by the Jewish Federation, through which Federation helped Jews leave the Soviet Union in exchange for wheat commodities and applied to be able to leave and move to the United States. In order to do that, Galina had to declare she was a Jew and the Soviet government had her turn in all her goods. In 1979, Galina and Sasha left the Soviet Union and stayed in Italy at a relief camp for three months. There, they were able to start getting used to living a normal life, very different from the life they lived before where the government over-controlled their citizens. During the time in Italy, Galina made very close friends like Vladimir and Anna Shvinsky, and they traveled together, arriving in New York on September 14, 1979, the day Galina turned 34. From there, they flew to Chicago and settled down, receiving assistance from Hayes, the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society. Galina had experience working as a lab technician in a yogurt plant in the Soviet Union and quickly was able to find a job at the best kosher sausage company where she began to work for John Mann, one of the owners and president of the company. Galina became the laboratory manager at Best Kosher and worked there until 1994. She became the spokesperson in charge of negotiating for the company. Through the years, Galina and Sasha established a very close relationship with John, his wife, and their family. Galina and Sasha practically became part of the family as they were invited to all the celebrations and spent much time together, just like family. Family then grew larger when in 1981, Simon and Bella left the Soviet Union, giving up lots of privileges to come to the United States and reunite with Galina and Sasha. John's son, Bob, and his two children, Kenny and Lauren, embraced Galina and Sasha, and in June of 1983, Gali and Bob became husband and wife. The immediate family was now a family of five, and Bob's, Bob's camping trailer was only big enough for four. Nonetheless, everything worked out perfectly <laughs> because they loved spending time together. The family lived in Glenview from 1983 through 1988. There are so many wonderful memories of the trips taken together as a family, lots of camping trips to many destinations. We heard from Kenny as he recalled how excited he always was, looking forward to tasting Galina's delicious cooking. 
cooking treats, and especially the sweets she baked and prepared. Gali was very passionate about her preparing all kinds of special foods for her family and friends, and never let anyone go in the kitchen to help. She was a one-person operation when it came down to feeding the family and friends, and did a spectacular job. Bob and Gali then moved to Northbrook, where they lived until 1999. During this time, from 94 through 99, Galina worked at the Allmark Packaging Company as Director of Quality Assurance. In 1999, Gali and Bob moved to Ohio, what Bob called the Ohio Project. Gali worked at Avi Food System as Director of Food Safety and Quality Assurance until 2002. In 2001, triggered by 9-11, Bob moved back to Chicago and settled in Northfield. Gali and Bob had to be apart for a few months, but Galina left her job at Avi to return to Chicago. 2002, Gali began to work for Sokol and Company as Senior Director of Food Safety and Quality Assurance. Galina worked at Sokol's for 17 years, establishing an extraordinary work ethic. Throughout the years, Gali and Bob traveled the world between Gali's European friends and background and Bob's business trips, they made special friends in so many places as far away as Australia. Every year, Gali and Bob were able to travel for three to four weeks, and they did that religiously. Gali and Bob truly enjoyed life together. They loved going to museums on a regular basis, attended the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, going to the botanical gardens since their inception. Gali was drawn to color, and music and art were always a fascination for Galina. And several years ago, she was able to pursue her affinity to painting, something she always wanted to do. Gali took time off from work and studied under the mentorship of the great Wojtek, a master artist and cyclist. Gali's paintings became a sweet expression of her heart. Galina was an amazing human being. Her intelligence could only be surpassed by her love and generosity. Her beautiful smile and glowing blue eyes brought happiness and comfort to everyone who knew her and spent time with her and Bob. And of course, her cooking brought delicious flavors and spirits to everyone's bellies and souls. Gali had an incredible appetite for knowledge. She read many newspapers and magazines and truly was a voracious reader, both in Russian and English. Everyone recalled how at every meal, Gali would ask everyone to please stay at the table. She did not want anyone to help. Gali just wanted everyone to enjoy each other's company while they savored the delicious appetizers Galina would bring. No one ever knew how many appetizers would precede the meal. It was always a surprise. That was one other way in which Gali made all of our lives more exciting. She truly cherished the company of all of her friends, many of whom have been together since their lives in the old continent. Blessed immigrants who found lives filled with blessing and very much enhanced by Galina's giving heart. Gali did everything with extreme care. She was very caring, very well organized and methodical. Galina had a great sense of humor. She would say, roll your eyes and walk away, referring to Bob's sense of humor as she made fun of Bob's puns. Galina actually recorded every pun Bob would come up with for the year and would make a compilation in a book for Bob, Bob to keep. Gali was truly filled with love in every way. The joy Gali and Bob experienced from their grandchildren here and in Nevada was the biggest highlight in Galina's family life. There are so many beautiful memories as we have heard, you have shared with us. In the midst of all the blessing in February of 2018, Gali was diagnosed with cancer. Galina fought it, was able to recover, to reach remission. 
but somehow a month ago the cancer returned transformed into an extremely aggressive cancer and took our beloved Galina away Galina man Zichronali Bracha of blessed memory passed away on Thursday the 8th day of April 2021 corresponding to the 26th day of the month of Nisan 5781 May Gali's memory be bound to the bond of life May Galina's memory remain for a blessing May she rest in peace and let us all say, Amen. Amen. At this time, I would like to ask, respectfully request, everyone who can do so, to please rise for the chanting and recitation of the memorial prayer. this day of Rosh Chodesh Iyar, and as we pray and praise God for the privilege of all the years spent with Gali, Mata 
אדוני ונחלתה ותנוח בשלום על משכבה ונאמר אמן. חברים יקרים, dear friends, let us all join in English, the second half in the inside of the pamphlet, אל מלא רחמים, together. O oh God, full of compassion, Thou who dwellest on high, grant perfect rest beneath the sheltering wings of Thy presence, among the holy and pure, to shine as the brightness of the firmament, and to the soul of Galina man, who has gone unto eternity. Lord of mercy, bring her under the cover of Thy wings, and let her soul be bound up in the bond of life eternal. Be God's possession, and may her repose be peace. Amen. Shalom. May Galina go unto God in peace. Shiramalot Esayna Yelhe Hari מאין יבוא עזרי, עזרי מאם אדוני עושה שמיים וארץ. עזרי מאם אדוני עושה שמיים וארץ. אל ייתן למות רגלך. אל ינום שומריך. הנה לא ינום ולא יישן שומר ישראל. הנה לא ינום ולא יישן שומר ישראל. אדוני שומרך, אדוני צלך על יד ימינך, יומם השמש לא יעקקה וירח בלילה. יומם השמש לא יעקקה וירח בלילה. אל 
אדוני ישמור חמי כל רע. ישמור נפשך. אדוני ישמור צאתך ובואך. מעתה ועד עולם. אדוני ישמור צאתך ובואך מעתה ועד עולם. Send from Harazetim, from Yerushalayim, Mount of Olives. We're bringing part of the Holy Land to this very place. Oh, 
שופר עליי, אבל לך את אדוני אשר יצאני. אוף לאוד ישרוי חיליותיי. שיביתי אדוני אל נגדי ימיני ואלמו לכן שמח ליבי ויגל כבודי הבשרי ישכון לבטח כי לא תעזוב נפשי לשאול לא תיתן חסידך לראות שחר תודיעני אור החיים סוב השמחות את פניך ואימו במנך נצח. At this time I would like to encourage each and every one of us beginning with Gali's family to please make a line and get ready to place three shovelfuls of earth, thus showing our intention to do a mitzvah of chesed shel emet, a pure mitzvah of loving kindness, an act of loving kindness, which is to provide our dear beloved one of a proper burial. So I would like to ask first the family followed by all of us to please, before we recite Mourner's Kaddish, to cover with earth. So please, if you could come and form a, a line, so each one of us should fulfill this mitzvah of Chesed Shelemet by placing three Shovelfuls of earth.
So close to each other. If anyone else wishing to participate, please step forward. Same story. And you were just looking at this. I don't like to talk. I mean, but they're not all beautiful, but obviously they're young, they dispose from much more paper. And many of the things that you can do in the press is that you've got very good reception. You know, it's very good to see the product as well. You know, it's very good to see the product as well. How do you feel? And it's funny, yeah, because just now I felt it. Now it feels good. It's so like a two-shot, maybe a little bit. But it, it might last a day. It's a warm palate. You got to do it. I'm so angry. Like they say, the treatment is so good. The pain is good. It's good. It's good.
Chavrim, as we join together in the recitation of Kaddish Avelim, Mourners Kaddish, please take the pamphlet from the funeral home. Let us all join together as we praise God, thanking God for the blessing given to all of us by Galina's life. Together, Yid Gadal, Pei Kadash, Shemeraba, Bealma, Divra, Kirute, Veamlich Malchute, Behajehon, Uviamehon, Uvhaye, the whole Beit Israel, Baagalau, Vizman, Kari, Vimru, Amen. Yeh, Shemeraba, Mevarach, Lealam, Lalmei, Almaya. Yid Barach, Veish Tabach, Veit Paar, Veit Romam, Veit Nase, Veit Hadar, Veit Ale, Veit Halal, Sheme de Kudesha Berichu, Leela Minkol, Birchata, Veshirata, Tushbechata, Venechemata, Damiran, Bealma, Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shelama Rabba Min Shemaya Vechayim Aleinu Vealkol Israel Imru Amen Ose Shalom Imromav Kuya Se Shalom Aleinu Vealkol Israel Imru Amen
Chavirim, dear friends, as we get ready to depart from the cemetery, I would like to ask everyone to please form two rows, two lines, so that we can have Dali's family walk in between the two rows. Thus, we shall be able to express the words of comfort to all of you, Gali's family. This does conclude the service here at the cemetery. I want to thank all of you for attending in person. We also want to thank all of those that are attending online. For those of you that are in person, you should have each received a funeral service folder. I bring that to your attention. The family has asked that memorial contributions in Galena's name be made to the American Cancer Society, the Alzheimer's Association, Special Olympics Minnesota, and Jewish Vocational Services. That information is on the inside portion of the folder you should have received when you arrived. If you did not receive one, we have them. For those of you watching online, this information is available on the website that you are currently on. We will terminate the live feed in just a moment. And thanks again for attending.